Hello, and one more look at Mauritania for you here today. This one should be pretty quick and clean. I know the area pretty well, and there's not too many place marks, so hopefully we can get in and out. And there's some juicy examples here, so uh, welcome and let's do it. So, Mauritania, Rashad structure up here, and then down the ways a bit this area so this example one of the first ones i found when i was doing my initial browsing in google earth is this uh straightish line here which incidentally continues here following it and is it a wall, like, or the remnants of a wall? Is it a channel of some kind, or like a ditch, or a, a ridge? Is it a natural ribbon of material? Uh, it's possible. And it looks like it started to meander there, so that needs to be noted. Uh, but for a distance, at least, it's very straight. So, what is it? I don't know. I do know that, uh, I can't remember how I was going to finish that sentence, but this, uh, someone, I asked around on the Google Earth Pro boards, and someone mentioned that this looks almost like vaulted, like the, the peak of a, a roof or something like that, like from above. And I thought that was an interesting uh, possibility. Uh, I mean, that's just the, the look of it. Not that that's what it is, but I mean, who knows what it is? Because it's could even be a pipe, you know, just like a, an oil pipe or even the, the internet cables just buried for uh, safe safety or to keep them you know, shielded from the weather, whatever, whatever they do. Uh, but here it's, it's more of a ditch and it's not, I, see, I guess, I don't, I don't know how recent these, uh, these features are, unfortunately. First of all, <laughs> this lovely, lovely block showing up here. Um, but, uh, Let's try and get a view of it. Mm. Well, whenever this picture uh, is from, we still see it. 2007, 93. I don't know what year these pictures are really from, but this linear feature has been there quite a while. And then it appears as though the, uh, the continuing aspect of it is uh, slowly... Um, revealing itself as some of this material is uh, removed or erodes away. Let's see, it kind of emerges here. And then by modern day, it's pretty clear. Okay, so here's another one nearby. Uh, wall or channel. I couldn't tell you what it is. Just a mound of earth or a ditch in the earth. Or something, maybe even here. I'm looking at this possible angular something. And a second ago, I noticed this possible straight edge here, and potentially like here as well. Like these are the edges of some kind of something, maneuver or whatever. And there's a whole bunch of this stuff in the area. There's too much to make a place mark for, or it's an interesting shape here, this guy. Just for reference, whatever it is. But yeah, that looks, at, at the very least, it's artificial. The, the only question really is, is, is it modern? I think is the important question.
and resembling, I guess I should sh uh, con compare it to the, uh, the parallel grooves we see like this. Because if these are natural, then maybe that's natural over there. Right? So let's go back. I, it doesn't strike me as a seam in the rock like a natural seam. I may be wrong, but it's, uh, okay, let's look at, uh, see, it continues for quite a while, and then it starts to look more natural, I would say, or at least it's obscured by some kind of natural meandering or aggregation of material. And then here's another similar thing. It's not perfectly collinear or along the same line as this guy, I wouldn't say. So I don't think this is necessarily one long maneuver necessarily, but uh, here we do see, well, this, whatever that is, looking somewhat artificial, and then the ravine itself. Uh, well, I wouldn't say this one necessarily looks artificial, but we just need to look at it and compare it to this one over here. And this as well, we should look at this one nearby, just for context. Um, yeah, this one looks fairly natural, although it could certainly be artificial as well. And what else? Let's look at uh, this guy over here. Hmm, kind of looking like a long gouge almost. There's there's some, like see here, it's almost looking kind of straightish. This edge is kind of straight, like you see for this, at least for this little length, there's kind of a regularity to it, or a, a perfectness, although the, it looks more flowy and or just natural on this edge over here possible angular features of some kind and okay, so we look, looked at this guy so this uh, again okay so let's um, look at it from this perspective so this one has a uh, some type of long feature here that seems to emerge from this ridge or I mean this uh, channel or did <coughs> excuse me channel or ditch or ravine uh, so that this continues as this and then we have looks like a same, similar thing here so I, I hadn't quite connected this linear aspect to this but this notch here it's kind of subtle but and possibly continuing there it, this may be part of the same feature which is this over here so we just kind of, whatever this is, we kind of lose it under the, the earth here, or the dirt, and then it pokes its head up again as a feature over here, somehow. Yeah, that's looking like some kind of notch, almost. Uh, let's see, let's see if we can get a look back in history at it <laughs> um, not a great look not a great historical look back we can only zoom in like this far before the glitch pops in um, but back whenever this photo was taken we see this linear features there this yeah this is looking pretty well defined there see it quite well And this notch thing probably still there. <clears throat> All right, let's look at some other place marks in the area. There's one over here. Uh, this one is less definitive, in my opinion, but it's, it's kind of like a linear path across, resembling that at least, or 
somewhat linear for a stretch. And actually, right here, you'll see faint indications of uh, some kind of linear continuation of that. So that should be noted. And I'm just, some other stuff is catching my eye, so I'm just investigating really quick. Like I thought these were like parallel lines or tick marks, but they look fairly natural. But let's look at the historical photos for what may be the edge of some kind of continuing aspect of this over here. So let's check that out. And it could be natural, certainly. Just because it looks awkward doesn't mean it's a conspiracy. But it probably is. <laughs> <laughs> to be honest. <laughs> uh, okay, I don't know how good of a look we're going to get at this um, feature here. But, yeah, looking like some kind of linear something across there. Like a lot of what we've seen already. And... Uh, so I should mention this, uh, I kind of already mentioned it a, a minute or two ago, but the notion of a feature which transfers into, um, along, a, along a unified path, but it transfers into another type of feature. So like a ditch will slowly morph into a ridge, so like from protruding, uh, protruding to um, recessed or uh, like, a, yeah, from like a, a ditch to a, a ridge or something like that, like along the same line. So it's like, that's, that's the type of derpy activity that the algorithm that may be in use uh, utilizes. So it, it does weird stuff like that. <clears throat> Hopefully I explained that well enough. And as I'm over here, I'm noticing these straight lines, this almost certainly the same type of potentially artificial thing that we're seeing right over here and right there. So let's get a good look at that and let me drop a place mark here. Hopefully I don't waste more than three seconds of your time. Straight line. Okay. Uh, and then also along this ridge here, we're seeing little uh, short, uh, uh, I call it tick marks, but just because that's what it kind of resembles visually. But these short linear, um, I don't know what you call it, just little line segments, little short line segments, and maybe even that. So, yeah, I am wondering if this whole area is worked over or um, artificially sculpted, uh, not just in these isolated areas, but like as a whole, like art artificially sculpted, just like as, as the rule for this area. And some kind of line here. Um, and then only some areas are left to look artificial, whereas most other areas are looking uh, natural uh, by, the in, by the intent of this, the algorithm behind the, um, the sculpting process. If it was an algorithm, I mean, it could have been just somebody with a, uh, like somebody at a controls of, a, of some kind of device. You know, like a human would sit at the controls of a tractor. Could have been humans, could have been who knows what. I mean, I, I, I don't know who did, did this, but they're probably an interesting person or entity with an interesting story. Uh, okay, this I'm noticing is like some kind of straight feature here. Uh, and then maybe even like some kind of angular something going on there as well and kind of angular there and 
yeah, like looking like this edge continues right over here, perhaps. But yeah, like some kind of angular path, like wide path, like here's an edge of it, and here's an edge of it right there. And maybe this is that same edge. This, I don't know about, but much to view in the area. Straight line across, continuing. I should put a place mark there real quick. Line continues. Thank you for your patience. Tick marks. Tick marks around the rim. Again, you can always hover your hand over the arrow key, the right right arrow key, uh, and that'll fast forward fast forward you um, five seconds for when it uh, for when the video gets slow. Or you can use that to rewind if you want to hear me say something again. I only learned that recently, so it's a handy tool. Plenty of potentially artificial stuff that's not too definitive, so I can't really. Uh, discuss it too much but okay let's let's move to the right let's work our way over uh, east I guess and here's another ridgy or a linear ravine and here looking like a possible continuation of it or this this these are both probably artificial grooves or features whatever they are and some aspect of it there, and then, of course, continuing here and kind of fading out. And this here could be natural or a foot trail or dirt road. It's tough to say. This looks like a road or a trail for sure. Yeah, and then here's this. So this is this is definitely looking probably like a modern access road or trail or something, or even like tire tracks or vehicle path like a modern vehicle. Um, maybe this thing, maybe this. Lots of maybes that we could try to dig into, but there's too many of those. And there's also too many, uh, too many blatant examples to get hung up on too many maybes. Uh, maybe even this. <laughs> maybe, maybe. It kind of Possibly that, that tick marky pattern that we're seeing along the, the rim. Faintly, it's subtle if it's even there, but it's possible. So we've discussed all this, and then this we're looking at. Same deal, basically. And a lot of times you can see them kind of poking their head out of the sand. Or occasionally, maybe. Okay, so let's work our way to the right over here. And I got distracted by these possible faint tick marky things. Let's check out the historical photos. I don't think we're going to get a good idea of it. Well, whatever. But possible faint tick marks or something going on up here. Maybe it's like a stripe across. Anyways, uh, this is certainly noteworthy. And let's draw a line across. Let's get perfectly 2D or as 2D as possible. And then draw a line from here to here. And looking fairly uh, collinear or along the same path. So I think this is it's maybe, uh, and let's just measure it real quick. It's four miles this distance, four miles from here to here. So pretty large stuff. And, uh, and what, let's measure, uh, this, uh, this guy as well. So how long is this feature? It's, Probably, I don't know, like 10 miles. Yeah, 12, 12-ish. And even just from here to here, it's like, 
one, almost two, if you count to here, probably over two miles if you count to like where it kind of peters out over here. So yeah, it's like a two mile long groove right here, whatever it is, which continues over here even further. Um, And I don't know if I've mentioned this already, but I say um a lot, way too much. Um, uh, I would say I'm working on it, but I'm not, and I probably should be working on it. <laughs> I say um a heck of a lot, so. So, um, yeah. Yep, don't know what it is. Looks like it continues there even, maybe. And this may be like a curved, similar type path here. Uh, like this, maybe. Very difficult to say definitively, but it's there, whatever it is. And then let's get a good angle of it here. And let's maybe see if we can see any of it uh, emerging in the middle between these uh, ravines, or whatever you want to call them. Not really seeing any of it along here. Could be completely eroded away or. Yeah, that's about. That's well, that's that, whatever it is. And more of the same. Uh, the general idea is just this whole area and this, and I don't think I even looked over here, but this over here. I'm sure if we looked here, we'd see similar stuff. We already saw stuff like that up here, so let's let's do a quick measure of like from here to here. How big is that? Four hundred and thirty-nine miles of uh, artificialness, and that's just a conserv conservative estimate. So, what type of device and or uh, uh, agent is pulling that off, <clears throat> and why, of course? How is less important, but it's interesting. All right, so this guy looking like it even continues pretty far back, like back here even. Okay, so here's yet another one moving to the east, working working our way over, and this one looking like a ridge or maybe a ditch or something. Some kind of path here, but that it could be modern. Certainly, some almost fairly cleanly defined path edges, I would say, uh, which look l more blurry over here. Obviously, there's sandstorms and stuff going on. Uh, let me drop a place mark. One moment. Path edges. Okay, and so this straight thing here, just noticed, probably this too, going this way, yeah, and yeah, just lots of, lots of stuff. Let me mark those real quick so you can look at them later if you want to. Straight line. Okay. Uh, so let's look at what I had marked. This guy looking fairly straight for a stretch. And it might continue like here, like it kind of gets obscured by the sand and then it pokes up again over here. That might be what's going on. Like this straight line here. So, but I don't know if it's along the exact same line because this looks like it kind of starts to meander maybe. Yeah, it kind of starts to meander like this. Uh, but it's pretty straight for a distance. And we see kind of like a narrow um, almost like a gap in between these two edges, perhaps. And then that gap looks like it widens 
as we move. So once again, suspecting a fairly sophisticated tooling method, to use the word tooling loosely. A uh, possible triangle there of maybe multiple uh, paths meeting. Uh, Cool, uh, triangle, and of course there may be some industrial activity in the area, just down to earth conventional stuff. Uh, circle of some kind, and then just faint indications of some potential other patterns here. I mean, at a certain point, do we really need to? see every single example you're probably already getting bored of seeing the same thing over over and over again it's still kind of fresh to me it, it's or <laughs> uh, it's I know I've taken it to like an overkill level but I don't, I don't feel like I I still don't feel like I even have enough uh, Smoking gun examples, like a lot of examples could go either way, like natural or artificial, or um, or modern conventional artificial versus strange artificial. Clearly defined ridge edge. Okay, uh, so got sidetracked a little bit there, but we have these lines. And yeah, so we're looking at this one with a another kind of possible gap in the middle and Waller channel. Kind of a natural looking or almost a slightly meandering, not quite a straight trajectory there. And then also needs to be considered with this guy, whatever this is. Potentially some type of path of weirdness. Or just river. And I should address a question of like, if this is an artificial notch of some kind, like, was it... Uh, hmm, how do I phrase this? Like, it's possible that this was there a long, long time ago, and then this material eroded away, and this remained somehow. Uh, that's possible, or, or this is an indication of, of uh, something that happened at the same time as, as uh, this uh, ridge line formed. So, so it's uh, an open and valid question whether this artificial feature was there at the same time as the rest of this ridge line. I rather suspect that uh, this whole uh, area, I, uh, to be somewhat vague, but this whole area was uh, artificially done possibly at the same time and possibly uh, as an ongoing thing over long periods of time, something angular here, perhaps something there, maybe a little rock pile. Seeing quite a few potential angular features here, but yeah, just like like these look like almost like like the hillside was chunked at or chewed at or something took bites out of it. And it's it's too uh, too natural looking to say that with any level of confidence. I'm just saying it with a level of suspicion, like with a raised eyebrow, like ah, uh, like I'm I'm almost suspecting, like given the straightness of these artificial grooves, I'm almost suspecting that these faint and well, that's obviously image glitch there. So that needs to be you got to be careful. But uh, I'm. Given what else is in the area, I'm suspecting that some of the, the ridge line is uh, contrived as well. And lo and behold, what do we have here but stone circles? 
I had not noticed this before, but uh, there we go. Still in circles. So this would be a great example of uh, uh, the calling card phenomena, or like leaving multiple different uh, things in the same area, multiple different types of activity, uh, strange activity, uh, as a way of like um, associating them, or uh, like an uh, like a signature or an authorship, an indicator of authorship, perhaps. Like they, uh, and this looking like something we talked about in the last video, like some kind of modern thing. So this might be modern recent stuff, uh, but it could be like a, a, a calling card to let you know that whoever did this also d does this. Like we do this and we do this is like what they're trying to say almost. And they're trying to get you to connect the dots, maybe something like that. Uh, and do they want you to discover it? I don't know. That's a good question. Uh, like, like, are they just begging us to figure it out already and like twiddling their thumbs, like waiting for us to take so long? Is that what's happening? Or are they like, do they not want us to discover it? Or are there multiple factions probably who have multiple different uh, desires? Uh, let's look at this in historical photos and see if it's not a modern construction because that would slightly take the wind out of my sails, but unfortunately the best we're going to get is 2011 looks like and really can't tell, unfortunately. Crap. 2010 maybe, better luck, not really. It's kind of finicky, the, the uh, historical photos. It's touchy, or, uh, well, certainly blurry back in the day, but, well, I don't know that we're going to get a better view or an answer to the age of these, but uh, looking for anything similar in the area, maybe this kind of similar thing, and some kind of path here, maybe. And some kind of line, uh, maybe not. Maybe path of some kind, or maybe just tire tracks or something. But yeah, suspecting that these cliff sides are perhaps entirely artificial, and so that the artificial notch thing is not the exception, but the uh, hallmark or the uh, uh, the indication of the norm in the area. So the, the let me say that with fewer pauses. <laughs> so the uh, the artificialness may be the uh, the norm in the area with only uh, a few blatant examples, although uh, if you look closely you can see quite a quite a great many examples. So my, my uh, contention or suspicion is, or, or best guess, is that uh, they have, there's some kind of knob uh, of uh, discoverability, like they, they create a pattern which looks pretty much like almost undetectably natural, like it's uh, completely natural looking, and then they just crank up the discoverability um, knob just a bit so that uh, it, um, so that artificial looking patterns are introduced just a little bit, just enough to make the artificial hand behind the project uh, discoverable. So I think whether they wanted to do that or whether they had to do that, um, I think that may be what, what underlies uh, the reasoning behind some of the apparently irrational combinations of uh, phenomena or patterns. So let's look at some stuff that has been catching my eye for the last minute or two. This line here and this one here, 
And okay, so we have this notch or it's similar to the other notches we're seeing fairly straight, possible regular parallel something there. Uh, but yeah, this continues looks like kind of faintly, almost clearly defined there. Uh, same type of deal, just kind of a path kind of fading out into the distance. Fairly clear there, actually. Uh, if that's the same line, I think it is, yeah. And then this looking off axis, maybe uh, like this might continue here, or it's tough to tell. And sometimes the this weird algorithm or pattern Okay, now I got to talk about this, but uh, this, sometimes this weird algorithm or pattern may create things which look like they're continuous or which look like they're stop and start, but it's really, they just, uh, it's just uh, part of the mishmashing of uh, the ways something could be perceived. So like they might make something which looks like a line that stops and starts, but then they might also introduce some off aspect uh, aspect to it as a kind of subtle thing to to confuse or to uh, to make it more look slightly more natural or to uh, oh gosh I'm seeing so much stuff right now I can't finish my sentence um, to muddy the water maybe yeah okay but I'm seeing a whole bunch of stuff. Uh, so let me get oriented real quick. I, I can't catch up with uh, the amount of stuff I'm seeing. Uh, keep up. <clears throat> line, straight line continues. Okay, um, so what am I seeing here? Seeing some patchy stuff. Some angular stuff, perhaps, like this, even. Like, er, 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 er. And if it weren't in rock, I would have, like, if it were just dirt, it would be less suspicious. And then some parallel lines here, possible path of some kind. Uh, and this guy. So here, looking natural, and then, er, nope, I'm not natural. It just looks way too regular there for me. And not to mention this right here. This fairly awkward line here. Once again, slight possibility it's a natural seam in the rock. And these may be stone circles here, potentially. <clears throat> Wouldn't surprise me, it's pretty widespread phenomena uh, here, maybe even like a wall or some, or it might just be the edge of a rock, it's tough to tell. Oh, and then here's people, so are they making these circle patterns? Like, what the hell? <laughs> like, are these even like normal people, like doing normal activity? I just wonder. And again, I'll feel a little silly if all of the stuff I'm showing, if all of this turns out to be like some type of conventional mining uh, remains of some type of that activity, but just, uh, I just, just trusting my instinct, uh, I don't think that that's explaining all of what we're seeing, given some of the, the weird variations and themes and like this, I think even though it's not perfectly straight, and it, there's no reason it has to be perfectly straight to be part of this artificial weirdness, but that the straightness is a possible indicator of artificial weirdness. But it does uh, curve, but it's just so regular looking. Uh, one second. That I have a, a tough time accepting it as 100% natural. And rocky edges of it there and kind of a uh, faint border of some kind or groove. And it could have been natural and then uh, this crew uh, made uh, 
made an extra path here with some type of very heavy duty uh, land mover or dredge or something. Just looking at historical photos, look fairly similar since 2011 at least. And stone circles there at least back in 2011. So whatever that is. And a little line here maybe. Nah, that's not a great one. What else was I seeing? I was seeing a whole bunch of stuff in the area. Can't remember everything I was seeing on the periphery of this area. Lots of little subtle indications of like working over of this whole uh, bit of land. Like maybe this as a path here as well. And hmm. This line here, maybe continuing. Here we got another type, some type of straight line. Yeah, I mean, something there, maybe. Maybe even continuing all the way over here, perhaps. See that? Uh, okay. Yeah, just everything I've found, I've just found by randomly zooming in on places. So I've actually kind of had to try to ex exercise a little bit of self-discipline and not do too much random zooming because then I just find too much stuff to cover. It's like a it's like a, a runaway task that you can't finish. Uh, but um. I'm doing it. We're doing it. We're we're getting through in it. More stone circles, maybe. Possible path of some kind. Let's check it out. Lo looking like some kind of indications of walls or stone circles there. Here's something. This guy. Okay, whatever. Let's get back on the uh, ori original place marks I had. Okay. I forget where we were. Hang on a second. So we were looking at this guy with the, uh, so remember it, uh, oh yeah, I was gonna mark this down. Path of ravine continues to a straight line thing. <clears throat> so this ridge or ravine Continuing here as this thing. Derp. And maybe even, like, you see the fairly clean edge of it there? Or groove. Maybe even changing directions right there. Possibly not. But we, we do kind of lose it. And there's just so many of these, like, did I even cover these yet? I think I did. Uh, these patterns looking a little more natural over here. They may not be, but just worth note. Like you see here, this is actually kind of like an angular patch of some kind almost. This looks fairly natural. Again, considering that idea of a partially artificial, partially natural pattern, which is somewhat strategic in some sense, it's possible. No real way to prove it other than uh, the preponderance. I'm not sure I know the definition of that word, but I'm going to use it. The, the plethora of circumstantial evidence. Uh, so, yeah, like this little, these angular things, like this rectangular patch here, these parallel lines here, just just artificial enough to make me say, yeah, this might be artificial. It's a parallel something there, and the multiple orientations. Could be like a large scale analog of crystallization, like when we see minerals crystallize uh, and form fairly regular patterns, or like how a snowflake forms geometric patterns, you know? Like, 
this could be like a large scale manifestation of that same type of uh, phenomena phenomenon uh, and what did I just see here I'm seeing I lost it for a second I think right here so looking like similar to like path edges as I'm calling them like the edge of some kind of something going like this not even a, a vehicle but just the pattern going like this not like not even like a tooling maneuver by a tool but just a uh, a trajectory of the pattern which was imposed by whatever method it was imposed uh, some angular goofiness there and it's kind of segmented polygons semi-regular making me uh, curious okay did I touch on this one yet no but okay we, we covered this ravine pretty well here in the surrounding area and some other stuff but there's too much really uh, so this we have another one of these little notches see I don't think I'm making that up <clears throat> and there it goes continues looks like it curves kind of maybe even meanders a bit and curves or it might be another line starting but just checking it out and something continuing here like this pretty long uh, I'm just observing the surrounding areas like possible faint very faint possibly like it's too low resolution to make out but possible very faint indications of like some type of patchy artificialness could just be the natural crumbling of the rock who knows I try to be con as conservative as I can I mean if I were really speaking my mind I might be a little more assertive because I'm fairly confident about the artificial weird terraforming thing at some at this point so but then it's also important to uh, be as um, try to debunk as much of it as as we can not as a an excuse to throw it out the window but as a uh, um, just to be uh, careful analyzers yeah it probably doesn't need to be said but just speaking out loud or thinking out loud uh, so this long very long guy whatever that is and I was seeing other stuff too as we're going over here but yeah this notchy thing continues kind of lose it but then it looks like it may pick up again over where here this guy seeing kind of somewhat clean edges there Keep following it. These, those are probably bushes. Uh, yes, yeah, maybe like two edges of it there, looking like. And not super clear with the coloration and the satellite image, but there's definitely something there. Then there's something possibly going across. Might just be uh, somebody off-roading, or just a dirt road or something. But yeah, it continues pretty far. And then maybe even under the dirt here, or the sand. And are the are all these ridges and... Um, so this, this is a good question. Are all these ridges and ditches and lines, are they functional? 
um, like, were they irrigation of some kind? Were they, uh, you know, just noticing some angular patches and possible paths here? Uh, looking fairly artificial, but, um, so how, uh, how functional are these features we're seeing? And I'm saying, mm, they may serve a psychological function. They may also serve, well, they may serve multiple functions. I, I don't think they, they're like water management or land management really. Um, like, I don't think it's traditional civilizational functions as we know them. I think it's um, remnants of some type of uh, uh, makeover of the surface of the earth, looking like chunky something here, um, and or gibberish deliberately, not necessarily, but perhaps. Um, just zooming around here, looking for stuff as I try and finish a sentence <laughs> before getting distracted. Uh, but yeah, my my we're always looking for functions. Like, what was the function of the pyramids? What was the function of the Sphinx? And uh, the the angle I'm coming at a lot of this stuff from is that maybe functionlessness is a big part of the function, if not the primary function. And once again, there may be multiple functions uh, as, uh, or, uh, yeah, multiple intended functions for each of these features. And that may all be managed by some type of very advanced algorithm or supercomputer, which can, which can actually reason through all that and make predictions and steer us in directions or whatever. I mean, I think it's some pretty high level stuff going on. And my little brain and your little brain is, pro is no offense, but I mean, the, the human mind can only really do so much at this point, not to sell ourselves short because we're pretty fantastic sometimes, but we can't do what what these supercomputers can do, and we can't reason like a like a techno god. You know what I mean? Like, like this this may all be like intuitively obvious. The reason for all of this may be intuitively obvious to an advanced mind. Um, it's not intuitively obvious to me. I have to do quite a bit of thinking, and even then, I only have theories, and some of them are half decent, but certainly not provable. Uh, well, I mean, proof is a whole nother conversation, but... <laughs> okay, let me uh, get back on the place marks I was displaying or featuring. And now I'm seeing all kinds of angular patchiness, perhaps. Perhaps. Yeah, looking like kind of angular uh, patches through the uh, some type of working over of the rocky area and if it's a rocky area that's that means it's some type of very uh, uh, high power or high capability device that's making these rocky patterns but you'll notice like along the along these seemingly artificial paths we're not seeing like 100% abrupt edges of the rocks there. So it's like as it went along a contrived path, it made sure to leave some naturalness or uh, <laughs> there's so many uh, so many possibilities. It's easy to get, uh, like I've said before, lost in an echo chamber of speculation, but Something, something strange. All right, I should uh, continue along the tour of the place marks. And where was I? This ravine already covered. Okay, this we were looking at just a moment ago. The long line here, which continues here in some sense. 
maybe even like this here, which almost looks like it has a counterpart here. Maybe not, but maybe. Uh, okay. Any other stuff? Maybe some artificial stuff here. Maybe this, whatever that is. It's just like a great many chunky little features. And a rounded feature there. This is a pretty good one. See this? Certainly could be modern mining of some kind, surface mining or strip mining. And we, what, what do we see? Do we see people nearby? They may have moved, moved on, but this looking like a definitely worked over patch of land, possible circle there, maybe not. Uh, I'm trying to figure out if these are like roofs of houses or rocks, <laughs> uh, or buildings. Certainly artificial edge there. And another one here looking like maybe that. And multiple versions or variations on that same type of look. Here and here, some type of working over. Uh, the Like this even. Let's look in the historical photos. Uh, so yeah, this rectangular patch here as one fairly blatant example of all the other little rectangular or pathy or path like patterns here in the area maybe a straight line there it's too much folks it's voluminous oh and that's another uh, key strategy of what I'm now kind of calling the protocol with a capital P or just kind of the, the big unified agenda, which some people don't think it's there's um, or some people think I'm drawing connections where there are none. Uh, like, like trying to connect this to the Sphinx. Like I see, I see similarity similarities behind, behind the scene there. But, uh, some people think that's not associated, like they're isolated, like things from different eras of civilization, rising and falling or whatever. Uh, I tend to disagree, but again, I'm going to be wrong about some stuff, and uh, that may be one of them. Uh, well, I forgot where I was going when I started the sentence. Crap. Oh, here we go. So, uh, so this protocol with the capital P, as I'm calling uh, it may use um, volume as one key component, one very crucial aspect to its strategy. Um, so, uh, I mean, there's millions and millions of art, uh, artwork and statues, pieces of, pieces of those, and uh, there's obviously thousands or millions of, or billions of little examples of artificialness on the surface and so the idea is if discovered if its weirdness is discovered one safety mechanism for it is that we get lost in the detail so it has to give us way too much detail to manage and that way we don't uh, connect the dots ever we just get lost in um, the sheer volume of whatever we're studying so it's volume and then uh, richness as well, which is kind of similar. Richness would be like feature volume, uh, like amount of uh, feature varieties um, or variations. So volume of variation or uh, the amount of variation we're seeing is... Um, we're seeing a lot of variations. <laughs> uh, laughing at myself for a second there. Uh, okay. I want to try to keep moving east like we're doing. 
just lots of little variations to get lost in, in general. And this, possibly artificial or possibly natural, it's fairly regular looking, that's for sure. Uh, it's just, is that a, uh, a result of some natural flow here of water or whatever? Uh, or is it something more sneaky? Something here, maybe. This, maybe, although it's just kind of looking like this. These looking like fairly natural, flowy lines. Whether they are or not, they kind of look like that. So that's the type of thing that could make um, people who are almost picking up on this um, tune out. So they would, they would just look at this, and then they would say, uh, Nope, see, look how meandering and wavy it is. It's got to be natural. And then when you see parallel, like super parallel ones nearby, you would say, they would say, oh, but yeah, but that's just a, um, a natural or a statistical variation on the, uh, the natural pattern. Like sometimes it'll, the rock will crack in super straight ways. Uh, so if there's enough natural pattern of a similar variety or type, then it's easy for some people to, to write off the more blatant examples as natural or conventional explanations. That was a mouth, mouthful. Mouthful. This Google Earth scroll is a mouthful. That was a horrible attempt at a punny joke. I'm just looking at my mouse and going crazy basically right now. Ain't it fun? And potential patchy artificial patterns here, but maybe not. Uh, again, trying to be fairly conservative. Like a good boy. This, gonna be less conservative on this one. Uh, er, yeah, it certainly could be. Uh, a ribbon of rock, an abrupt ribbon, ribbon of rock that's certainly observed in geology and documented. And then it, since it's a different, of a different makeup, it erodes more quickly than the surrounding area. And it results in a, a linear gap, or what I'm calling an out of place channel or linear gap, or whatever you'd like to call it. But linear gap channel. What's that? That's rocks. Okay, uh, so the edges of it fairly regular. And continuing over here. Maybe this is something. But yeah, rocks crisscross with tool marks. Again, I, I slightly regret the word, or the use of the word tool marks, but it's good enough, or it was good enough for the, when I started using, or when I started making videos, about a year ago now, so it's actually just a little over a year I started uh, more heavily on this path, uh, kind of a circular thing there, around, angular here maybe. But yeah, probably not tool marks, but, and actually it's looking fairly natural here as well, or a little more flowy, or at least some meandering, not perfectly straight. So it could just be the natural crumbling pattern, natural way that the rock wants to crumble, potentially. And this edge is interesting. Not a not like a smoking gun, certainly just observing. Okay. So let me turn these back on. And so we've covered most of the stuff. Uh, all this stuff. Yeah, so let's keep working our way east here. 
we've got these couple and then a few over here. So I don't know, maybe like a half hour left. We'll see. I'll try and try and keep it to less than an, an additional half hour. Uh, okay. Path or road. What is that? Is that a road? I don't know. I don't think that's a road there. I think, I think this uh, natural and then starting to look artificial and then kind of cleanly defined edges here. Okay. Yeah, but looking like some type of path maybe. All right, long parallel grooves. Yeah, I've already commented on this quite a bit, so we should probably just skip this. Maybe another linear-ish ridge here, or I mean groove. And if you zoom out a little bit, it kind of looks like some some artificial working over, like almost like haphazard patchy patterns. Like, see, kind of like the, it's hard to tell if it's hard to tell what's in, indented and what's uh, raised up. Like, you can't really tell which is recessed or protruding. And some angular stuff here looking like. And let's look at some redundant examples and repeat myself a 12 more times million uh, as we move eastward. See this here to me? This is looking like an abrupt end to some kind of maneuver. Looking like that, whether that's what it is, not I'm not so sure, but it resembles that somewhat. And this is kind of like a goofy, almost like a natural, short, stubby wall. All right, and I haven't, uh, I don't know if I've looked at this area too heavily over here, but I'm sure we could find like, what is this, three parallel straight grooves? Okay. One moment, please. Thank you. Three grooves. So, I don't know, can we call them out of, can't speak right now. Uh, can we call these an out of place channel, I think? Uh, it's not a channel. I wouldn't call it a channel, I guess, but then even these, like these, maybe like marking up the, the whole mountainside stone circles. There we go. Cool. Calling card, maybe, or just modern industrial work of some kind or unassociated and just coincidentally nearby. That's possible as well. We're fanning out in terms of what's possible, in terms of all the potential explanations for uh, how the Earth's surface got to be the way it is. And then hopefully we will eventually get enough data that we can uh, fan it back in or uh, rain, it, rain it back in and zero in on what's really going on. And I think we've made some progress. Hopefully you agree. And stone circles could be associated with mining even or any number of things. And I wonder if we can get any historical photos here. These are pretty easy to find, the stone circles. I mean, if it takes you, if you're anywhere in Africa and it takes you uh, more than like one or two hundred random zooms and uh, scroll arounds.
then you just you just got really unlucky because there's there's so many of them. <clears throat> okay. Uh, I think I was gonna look for historical photos to see if these are recent circles or formations. So let us do that. Uh, ooh, we get 2011. Pretty crisp view there. That's cool. Whatever this is. And uh, one comment in a second. Mm, I was going to say that this might actually be the, the boundary of the top of a rock. And this just might be the middle of a large boulder. Um, and I was just getting confused visually. So maybe these aren't stone circles. That's, that is, that may be possible. That may be accurate. So it could just be like a little visual illusion or a, a trick of the, the coloring or the, the light. Like, is this just the, the boundary or dirt, dirt collecting around a boulder? I'm having a, a tough time making up my mind. That'll happen sometimes when you're on Google Earth. You, you kind of get inverted in the perspective. And I said that already, but you, you, like, you think it's poking out when it's... Uh, when it's uh, poking in. All right, I don't think I had any more place marks over here. But some straight lines possibly like this looking fairly straight for a stretch or fairly regular at least and see this line there see that you gotta mean full screen but that edge whatever that is looking fairly regular especially right here uh, I, th I, th I think I thought it was an image glitch for a second but it's clearly there. Mark that real quick. Long straight line edge. Okay. And I should probably keep moving east to keep the Vizio video video at a reasonable duration so let us do that and maybe a straight thing there gonna leave it mm -hmm. what do we got nothing maybe okay what was that? This line maybe. A little notch across. Cool. Sign me up. This. There we go. Linear thing across and then another indication of something that way or in the same direction. Uh, yeah, I'm not even going to mark it because there's Here, another one looking awkward. Mm, I'll mark it. <clears throat> Straight something. So, continues across ravine. Yeah, so we see, or not ravine, gulch, or I don't know, whatever. You get the picture, but it kind of continues was I seeing things? Uh, oh, I'm seeing it kind of continuing there a little bit. Whatever it is. Very subtle there. Okay. Uh, maybe not the best example. Um, one more time, I might mention that I'm not quite sure why I'm just doing my entire Mauritania place marks. 
in the Out of Place channel's topical uh, little series instead of uh, in some other series that's properly titled. But uh, I just kind of got carried away, and there's a lot of out of or a lot of straight gaps that are kind of channel esque. So we're just looking at all of those in the context of whatever's in the area. To repeat myself one more time, because I, I don't know who's randomly stumbling onto videos in the future or whatever. Maybe they haven't seen the prior ones. Here we go. Something here, definitely. This one, obviously not straight or not continuing straightly. Very long path. One moment, please. Thank you. Very long. Okay. And we see, what do we see? What can, what can be said? Stone circle jerks. Hey, let's keep it PG, sir. Uh, some more stone circles. <clears throat> yeah, I don't know if we're going to get any data on when they were created. Uh, crap. Well, whatever. It is what it is. Probably more in the area if we scrolled around, but probably don't need to. What else? So this long, very long path here, seeming to continue quite a ways. Road is even continuing here, maybe. And see, curving edges of something there. Here, yet another, some kind of path. I mean, yet another long groove or path. Yet another long groove or path. Okay, this one. And again, if you type that into this search bar here, when you download my place marks and uh, just hit enter or whatever, You'll be able to look at these for yourself. Uh, so starting here and continuing again with the, the notch deal. So looking like something uh, contrived this edge of this uh, mountainside or cliff, cliff side. It's more of the same, more of the same. Maybe some kind of path here also. Uh, so these ones, since they're so long and well-defined, I was thinking that I should ask if they're roads. Pretty clear edges there, or clean at least. Uh, I don't know that I believe these are roads. Okay, and more potential stone circles here, if I'm viewing that correctly. Uh, yeah, looking like it. Possible, I'm just going to say possible stone circles. And then... Yeah, I don't think this is a road, though. It's not looking like that. Especially with this one going across. I don't think I even mentioned this one, but same type of deal. As per usual. And just a long scar. Maybe scar is the best word to describe these things. Instead of channel. But yeah, here, this guy, very clean here, continuing, not perfectly straight, certainly, 
but fairly straight for stretches of it at least and then seeming to meander perhaps and pick up and get a little deeper like the the depth of it seems to vary along the path which it traces so whatever it is it's probably varying the depth just to add realism or or whatever it's trying to pull off and uh, and then we see it continue there and curve and meet up with this one over here and continue on its merry way wherever into the sand okay so there it is and the uh, let's see so two points I should make, well, this guy, uh, this path here looking like something maybe. Uh, what points did I want to make? I wanted to say, first of all, uh, this area right here looking somewhat contrived or artificial-ish. If you just kind of uh, look at it as a whole and kind of take, take it from different zoom angles, or um, sorry, zoom levels or uh, distances away from it. If you just kind of zoom in and take it uh, as a whole and just kind of see the uh, or try and get a feel for the general adjectives that come to mind. I don't know. Or the general feel of the area, the general look of it. I'm getting like a, uh, a patchy uh, worked over uh, chunked out aesthetic or like it's been uh, chunked at or uh, uh, gouged at or um, and maybe it hasn't but it it just appears that way there's there's kind of that type of look to it like some type of remnants of uh, a goofy or haphazard manipulation so Okay, I think that's the most concise way to say it. This area looks like it's been artificially manipulated in a haphazard way. Just given the, uh, the subtle indications of angular awkwardness. Uh, it's like a... It's trying to be mostly natural, but not succeeding in this area, in my opinion. Okay, and then I think one more uh, point I wanted to make here is, see how straight this is? Uh, so the, uh, the straightness or the, um, the artificialness and the meanderingness on, along the same path. So, uh, so a path which meanders looking uh, fairly natural and then the transition from that fairly natural path to a very straight and more artificial looking path. Um, that is, in my best estimate, a strategic combination of features. So I think that is done as a way to definitively link one phenomenon to another. Uh, so if you took one little patch of this in isolation, you might say, oh, that's natural for sure. But then you have to look at it, you have to follow it and look at it uh, in conjunction with the, uh, what it looks like further down the path and, and then uh, take a look at uh, what each little sample stretch, um, how they all relate together. So we're, I think we're meant to... Um, to look at a, a sample um, a sample length of path and uh, make it a judgment on it and then uh, compare it to other lengths of that path or other sampled uh, portions of it uh, or just sampled for study and then uh, um, and then ask the question, uh, how do these two judgments relate and do they are they coherent so is is the meandering path coherent with the 
uh, the natural path. And again, it may not be a deliberate uh, combining of those, those two different um, interpretations or uh, aesthetics. It may just be the uh, whatever some smart algorithm calculated and it's just what it chose to do for some reason. It may not it may not even be premeditated. It may just be the output of a uh, um, an algorithm which was given free reign to make uh, whatever pattern it needed to to achieve the the goal of some some program or agenda. Another mouthful for you there. And if I don't get too distracted, I think we can wrap this up in a couple minutes. Uh, so let's just skip over this area. I'll leave that as homework for you. Um, you can check this out and, oh uh, no, I said skip over it. <laughs> um, yeah, so you can check out this area and see if you can see some of the same stuff. I'm fairly confident you will. Uh, long straight groove, low and behold. Both low and also behold. A long straight-ish groove, which bends kind of uh, fairly regular. I mean, it's always possible it's mining or something. But yeah, it has the kind of notched look to what I was calling the notch look to the, uh, the cliff sides. And then the notch just continues here as and kind of fades off into whatever uh, apparently natural activity is going on here. So, yeah, just a lot of, uh, a lot of, many more of these lines or grooves here. Intersecting paths, roads, foot trails, vehicle tracks, surface mining, ancient chisel tool marks. Um, so here's just one path meeting up with another path. Um, here, let me get rid of this guy so you can see. Just the almost a right angle junction here. So that would be one of those things that needs to be, uh, you know, what? not not a perfect right angle. So I take that back. But the uh, seeming like a somewhat regular, well, it kind of continues here, but somewhat awkwardly regular junction there. So then you need to compare that or. Uh, Consider that with what the path looks like along the rest of it. So, so what I'm saying is taking only one portion of these um, these paths or grooves in isolation is a uh, some something of a mistake. So, like if you only look at it right here, well, of course it's natural. Uh, it's just part of the thing. But then you look at it here, and well. It may still be natural for sure, but then you see where it joins up and you see, okay, well, this looks like this. So now we need to consider what this looks like and compare what this looks like to what it looks like over here and etc. etc. I mean, uh, hopefully that's not like, um, insulting. Like I'm trying to tell people how to think, like, I think some of what I'm saying is People already just do naturally, obviously. So uh, I don't know if it even needs to be said, but uh, maybe it does. Maybe it has utility. That whole angle or um, thought. Here we see another fairly clear, interesting groove there. And that's, I mean, yeah, I think our, well, yeah, long groove meanders. Uh, okay. And these might be the last two in this episode, so 
two more place marks and I'm sure we could find stuff in the intermediate era area uh, if we wanted to like hey there we go what is this uh, awkward path awkward path cool beans and again, if you follow it over here, it's looking pretty like it would be a natural seam in the rock, almost. So, uh, yeah, whatever. Cut that thread and move over here. This linear thing, which continues along this thing and continues like this. Yep. That's artificial, whatever it is. Ah, even as I say that, I could think of reasons how it might be a natural geological feature. But at this point, that's not my best guess as to what it is. It could be a natural geological feature, I suppose. But I don't think that is the most likely explanation. So here it's continuing there. Pretty clearly defined edges of it and kind of multiple like one, two, three, maybe four edges to it. Like, and some of the edges seeming to kind of start and stop or peter, peter out and possible continuation here or maybe a change of direction uh, yeah, looking possibly like an, yet another straight feature there, or straight enough to be suspicious, or regular enough, perfect enough to raise, yeah, suspicion, in my opinion. And then here we go, this, this natural uh, rim or edge of edges of the rock layers certainly possible and it's still pretty tough to definitively say on a lot of these from a blurry satellite photo here we see this one continuing over here see uh, interesting possible edges of it there can we be done yet I think we can. I think you've suffered enough. And I think next video we'll be talking about bumps, or bumps as I'm referring to them. And yes, thank you for joining me on this journey. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you got some value out of it. Uh, any thoughts whatsoever, just put them in the comments. I usually see them. And uh, have a good day or evening. Uh, we'll see you later. Bye.